in contrast to the tranquility at airports in the rest of the world, here in Shanghai Pudong, it's just another rush hour during the summer holiday. Speaking today, I'm taking you on board China's largest privately owned airline, Junyao Air. A good early morning from Shanghai Pudan. It is now August of 2020, and commercial air travel in mainland China has fully returned to pre COVID demand. Today, I will be traveling 400 miles north of Shanghai to the coastal city of Qingdao in Shandong province. The international departure area at Pudong is still deserted as China continues to enforce stringent border control while the domestic departure is filled with boisterous chatter 6am on this Tuesday morning. Now just one suggestion, I really hope Junyan could offer an envelope for all these paperwork. The early morning hour usually hosts a flurry of junior departures due to the cheap slot, which resulted in interminable queues in economy counters. Though as a business class passenger and platinum member, I can breeze through the process with a designated counter. A unique and super handy perk that junior extends to its premium passenger in Pudong is the complimentary buggy service, which is particularly useful given the awkwardly located domestic gates at Pudong Terminal 2. A breezy 90 second ride takes me to Junyao's lounge near gate 80, the only lounge the airline operates anywhere on earth. Self-service catering has returned in the end of July as Covid rests behind the screen for the time being in China. However, I heartily agree that this is an improvement. Unlike the state-owned carriers such as China Eastern and Air China, there's no cook-to-order noodle in Junyao's lounge, but rather the staple is being replaced with incredulous-looking China-made instant noodles. Limited variety, unfortunately, the taste does not ameliorate the situation either. Coke at 6:30 a.m. doesn't sound appetizing at all, so make sure to grab your own breakfast or visit a Starbucks in the terminal if you're peckish when flying to New York. Now my time in the stratosphere in the post-COVID era is as ephemeral as this buggy ride which takes me to the gate in less than two minutes. The bus for remote stand boarding is one of the unique features in China that I have yet to witness anywhere else in the world. It sure is a marginal cost to the airline but influences passenger prestige and comfort in a substantial manner.
Junior's A320 features eight business class seats in a conventional 2-2 layout. There was only three passengers occupying the cabin, so I get to sit wherever I wish. After demonstrating my videography skills to a bunch of bewildered and lethargic passengers and crew, it's time to settle in and to enjoy my individual air vent, a paper cup of orange juice, a hot towel, and last but not least, economy passengers boarding via stairs and mid shower room plus. Our flight path today involves a northbound departure and straight in approach into Qingdao. The airway and Qingdao area weather are quite choppy due to Typhoon Bavi, which is moving alongside of us 200 miles to the right hand side of the aircraft. As you listen to this Given the short flight distance, our aircraft today is only cruising at 24,000 feet, which means we are covered by choppy clouds all the way through. Thankfully, we're off just in time before Typhoon sweeps through Kunal. The Airbus A320neo, being one of the latest member in Junior's fleet, has a whole different cabin interior compared to its older A320 uh, CEO aircrafts. So today, let's take a look at the seat. Now, as you can see, the cabin is still in a 2 and 2 layout, just as um, how it is on most of the uh, narrow-body domestic aircraft. Um, the seat, uh, one of my favorite aspects of it, is really its um, leather padding. An aircraft seat uses a leather. It's not only cool, but also um, easier to clean. And compared to the older generation of um, Junior's first-class seats, the new um, seats on the A320neo uh, looks much more streamlined in terms of its design. It, it looks actually very similar to um, Alaska Airlines' new first-class product, which you can take a look at my video over here. And um, there are many, of course, uh, convenient features added to this um, new generation seats, including this um, pouch down here where you can drop your phone or iPod or anything else of that size conveniently without 
dropping them under your seat. And perhaps one of the most important improvements on the A320 Neo that you now has is that there's finally now a power outlet which is the very first on all of Junyao's narrow body fleets. And last but not least, in terms of seat comfort, um, there is a latest addition of the uh, leg rest to Junyao's 320neo, which can be extended by pressing this button over here. And if you ask me, I'd say it makes a whole lot difference on a narrow body jet when you have a leg rest like this. And finally, now let's take a look at the seat recline. Well, that was a lot better than I expected. It's certainly a great step up from what Junior used to offer on its older mid 20 generations. Welcome to the first ever lecture in the stratosphere and today I'm bringing you an insight into Junyao Air. An airline founded by three brothers in Shanghai dating back to 2005, Junyao Air is China's first privately owned airline and currently operates a fleet of just over 100 aircrafts. For Western passengers, Junyao is more recognisable when mentioning its identity as a Star Alliance connecting partner. With its primary base located in Shanghai, Nanjing and Hangzhou, Junyao also operates scheduled international routes to as far as Helsinki, using the airline's latest 787 Dreamliner. The short 65 minutes commute up to east coastline of China came to an end as we are once again wrapped inside Typhoon Bavi storm clouds. Junyao Air's Airbus 320neo aircraft certainly features an amazing and refreshing interior that I'd much prefer over its older 320CEO aircraft. Due to the short length of the flight, no meal was provided due to Chinese regulations, but as someone who had resided in the US for 5 years, I have certainly grown accustomed to first class without service. After all, Junyao is a solid regional airline to choose when flying domestically, especially when factoring in its relatively cheap premium cabin rates compared with the rate from China Eastern. Now, enjoy the approach into Qingdao and activate the subscribe bell to prepare for our next journey. It has been a pleasure and I can't wait for our next departure.